We're going to build on the gyro turn program we have to also have another function that'll have the robot go straight. So we had a turn speed for turning the robot. We're also going to have a straight speed. Now when you're going straight, you can go a bit faster. And when you're turning, you can also change this around, make it be 50, see what happens. And then down here, right above turn absolute, we're also going to add another function that will be void. We're going to make this drive straight. This will take in one parameter int of duration, and that's going to be in milliseconds. So we're going to tell it how many milliseconds drive for. So if we want to go for six seconds, we can type in 6,000. First thing we want to do is update our target, because we may not be facing zero, maybe facing somewhere else. And we want to drive towards the direction that we're facing in right now. So we're going to update our target. Then we're going to figure out where we want to go to. So we'll say unsigned long. We're going to call this destination. And our destination is what time it is right now, because the clock is already ticking by the time the, the program starts. So this millis is what time it is right now, plus the duration. Destination is where we are right now, plus how far we want to go. And then we're going to go into the while loop just like we did with the turn. So we'll say while the current time is less than where we want to go to, we're going to continue driving straight and adjust our motor speeds to continue driving as straight as we can. The first thing we'll do is get our newest gyro value. So we'll update absolute. And then we will calculate what our left speed should be and what our right speed should be. So we'll say int right speed is straight speed minus absolute minus target. And if you don't know what that means, go back and watch the intro video, because that's where we explained uh, what this formula is doing. Left speed is straight speed plus absolute minus target. Then we're going to write those out to the motor. So we'll say core dot motor speed. We'll set the motor M0. We'll say that is right speed. And then we'll say core dot motor speed of M1 will be left speed. Look at all these errors I made. Core dot motor. If your code is throwing errors and it can't download, first go back and look to see if you have any spelling errors. That's usually the most common culprit. Then, when we do reach our destination, we want to stop. So we'll say core.motor speed m0 is 0, and we'll make m1 also be 0.
That's it. This drive straight function will have our robot drive straight for a number of milliseconds. The last thing we want to do is update our loop so that we actually use it. So we'll say we'll drive straight for six seconds and then stop the robot. Just to make sure this works first. Write speed was definitely misspelled. It worked out wonderfully. The robot drove straight for six seconds and then stopped. Next, drive straight and then use our turn absolute. And then you can drive straight again, and then use turn absolute again, then drive straight, turn absolute, drive in squares, drive in triangles, drive around your friends, uh, drive around different obstacles in your room, uh, in your classroom. See if you can get through an obstacle course faster than your friends and classmates. Mm -hmm.